Important information about stoichiometry. It is based on a balanced chemical equation. So the coefficients represent the number of moles of reactants and products. From these coefficients, mole ratios can be established and are used as conversion factors to convert between a given number of mole of a reactant or product to mole of different reactant or product. Thus, if in the problem the given is mass and the unit of course is grams, then you need to convert it first to mole of the given then use the mole ratio to find the mole of the unknown. And then you can now calculate whatever the problem is asking for about the unknown. So let us have this example problem wherein the given is mass and the unknown is mole. How many moles of hydrogen is needed to form 54 grams of H2O? The molar mass of H2O is 18 grams per mole. So this is the balance equation. 2 moles of hydrogen plus 1 mole of oxygen forms 2 moles of H2O. So the given is... 54 grams H2O, unknown is mole of hydrogen. So take note, the given is grams, and the information from the balance equation are in terms of moles. The 2 moles of H2O, but the given is 54 grams. Therefore, we need to convert 54 grams to moles so that we can use this relationship between 2 moles H2O and 2 moles of hydrogen. So therefore, our step 1 is use the molar mass of the given to convert to, to, convert to mole. Okay? So mole of H2O is... The given is 54 grams H2O times the conversion factor is the molar mass of H2O, 1 mole of H2O over 18 grams of H2O. So, you need to cancel grams H2O, grams H2O. Then the equation now is 54 times 1 mole of H2O divided by 18, and the answer is 3 moles H2O. So now, we have already converted 54 grams to 3 moles H2O. So we can now use the mole ratio because it is already in mole. So step 2, use the mole ratio or the coefficient ratio to solve for the mole of the unknown, which is hydrogen. So, the equation is mole of the unknown equals mole of the given times coefficient of the unknown divided by the coefficient of the given. So, mole of hydrogen equals 3 moles of H2O times the conversion factor, 2 moles of hydrogen over 2 moles of H2O. Where do we get the two numbers here? The coefficient, look, the coefficient of hydrogen, the coefficient of H2O. So, cancel mole H2O, mole H2O. The equation now is 3 times 2 moles hydrogen 
divided by 2 equals 3 moles of hydrogen, which is the answer. So another problem is the given is mass and the unknown is also mass. So how many grams of hydrogen is needed to react with 96 grams of oxygen? So in the balance equation, the relationship between hydrogen is 2 moles of hydrogen and 1 mole of oxygen. But the problem gives 96 grams of oxygen. Therefore, we need to convert 96 grams of oxygen to mole. So how do we do that? By multiplying the grams of oxygen by the molar mass of oxygen, which is 1 mole of oxygen over 32 grams of oxygen. So, cancel grams of oxygen, grams of oxygen. The equation now is 96 times 1 mole of oxygen divided by 32 will give you 3 mole of oxygen. Now, it is now in mole oxygen. So, let's go back to the equation. 2 moles of hydrogen requires 1 mole of oxygen to form 2 moles of H2O. But the problem is now 3 moles of oxygen. How many moles of hydrogen? And then later on, we'll be converting to mass. So, step 2, use the mole ratio or the coefficient ratio to solve for the mole of the unknown, which is hydrogen, right? Hydrogen is our unknown. So, mole of the unknown equation is mole of the given times the conversion factor. The unknown is on top, the given is on the denominator, and the coefficient of the unknown and the coefficient of the given. So, substitute to the equation, you have 3 moles of oxygen, and the conversion factor is 2 moles of hydrogen over 1 mole of oxygen. So cancel mole oxygen, mole oxygen. The equation now is 3 times 2 divided by 1 will give you 6 moles of hydrogen. But the problem is not mole of hydrogen, right? It is grams. Therefore, step 3, convert it to grams by multiplying it with the molar mass of hydrogen. So 6 moles of hydrogen times 2 grams of hydrogen over 1 mole of hydrogen. The answer is 12 grams of hydrogen. Okay, another problem here. How many moles of hydrogen is needed react with 70 grams of nitrogen. The molar mass of nitrogen is 28 grams per mole. So, meaning you convert these grams of nitrogen to mole using this molar mass. Okay, the relationship again between hydrogen and nitrogen in the balance equation is one mole of nitrogen reacts with how many moles of hydrogen? Three. But the problem is not mole of nitrogen. The problem is 70 grams. Therefore, we need to convert it to mole. So we can use this relationship that one mole of nitrogen is to three moles of hydrogen. So let's convert 70 grams of nitrogen by using the conversion factor molar mass of nitrogen. So cancel nitrogen, grams nitrogen, cancel grams nitrogen. The equation is 70 times 1 mole nitrogen divided by 28 will give you 2.5 mole of nitrogen. Now we know now 2.5 mole of nitrogen. Therefore, we can use it now to solve 
for the unknown. And our unknown is mole of hydrogen. So 2.5 mole of nitrogen, which is the given. Of course, the conversion factor is 3 moles of hydrogen, the unknown, over 1 mole of nitrogen, the given. So, cancel mole nitrogen, cancel mole nitrogen. The equation is 2.5 times 3 moles of hydrogen divided by 1 is 7.5 mole of hydrogen, which is the problem, the unknown mole of hydrogen. So, if the problem is asking for grams of hydrogen, all you need to do is multiply this mole by the molar mass of hydrogen. Okay, so another problem is how many grams of NH3 or ammonia is produced from 60 grams of hydrogen? Okay, so we need to convert again 60 grams of hydrogen using the molar mass of hydrogen, which is 2 grams hydrogen per mole. So convert 60 grams of hydrogen using the molar mass again of hydrogen. Cancel grams hydrogen, grams hydrogen. So the equation is 60 times 1 mole of hydrogen divided by 2 will give you 30 moles of hydrogen. Now, we know now the moles of hydrogen. We can now use the mole ratio in the equation that mole of unknown, which is ammonia or NH3, 2 moles NH3, right? And the moles of hydrogen is 3, right? So, 3 moles of hydrogen is the... Under, is on the denominator because that is the the given, okay? And two moles NH3 is on the numerator because that is NH3 is the unknown. Okay, cancel mole H2, cancel mole H2. So the equation is 30 times two moles of NH3 divided by three equals 10 moles of NH3, but the unknown is grams, grams. Therefore, we need to convert 10 moles of NH3 to grams by multiplying 10 moles of NH3 by the molar mass of NH3, which is 17 grams NH3 over 1 mole of NH3. So, cancel mole NH3, cancel mole NH3. So, multiply 10 by 17 grams NH3 divided by 1. The answer is 170 grams NH3.